Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, we are here today with a very heavily recommended viewer game in Lisa. A lot of people call this game a masterpiece, and believe me, I know about this game. I've never actually played it. It's not one of those things where it's like on my bucket list to play eventually, but I never got around to it. But, as such would have it, recently we finished the Coma 2, and I'm waiting for the Upper League update for Lakeview Cabin to come out, or Lakeview Valley, I should say. So, there is room in the rotation for us to check out Lisa. I will consider definitely checking this out long term, maybe the entire thing. According to you guys, there's a lot of chance for me to do voice acting for this game too, and, you know, I enjoy doing that. It really entertains me when I try to come up with voices for different characters, so... That's it and done. If you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comments if you're leaving a thumbs up. Let's get to it. Alright, we got a little bit of a banger beat going on in the background over here. Kinda really digging it. Now there's violence. You little thief. Stop. Stop. Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch. Idiots. Let's go, guys. Well. Th thanks, Brad. Okay, so we are playing as Brad. Can move here. I'm sorry. You didn't have to cover for me. Oh, we were covering for them. I'm sorry, Brad. Think from you, huh? Okay. You you kind of remind me a little bit of a Mr. Saturn. There's a lot of comparisons to this to like an Undertale or an Earthbound. Like not probably the story, but just like the style maybe and the visual storytelling, so. Again, I'm not making that claim, it's just stuff that I read. It's usually kind of like mentioned this game along with stuff like Earthbound and Earthtales, so... Take that for what it's worth. In case this isn't new to you. Ah, oh, Bradley! When are you gonna learn, boy? Well, apparently not anytime soon if I'm covering for people. Who is this guy? You remind me of, like, a freaking villain in Earthbound, too, doesn't he? What does he remind me of? This... I forgot who he is. He kind of looked very similar, though. Okay. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Are we good, dog? Once again... My son... steps into my house. Beat to shit. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for adding to that. I'm not buying you another shirt! Worthless shit, kid. Go to your room. Now! Thanks, Dad. Love you, too. It's a catchy start, I'll tell you that much. Oh. You took some joy. I don't look that joyful. What the hell? Uh... Shh. It's okay, little buddy. Oh! 
Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, exactly! I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. There, there we go. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you somewhere safe. You know, after the the physical trauma I just put you through. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Sketchy looking eyes. Uh, yeah, I would be sketched out too about this too. Your uh, your nipples are showing. By the way, they're really, really vibrant red. Bread. What is that? Holy shit! Is that a baby? Yeah. Whoa! A baby? Where'd you get that? I don't know. I just found it lying on the ground. Jeez. Dudes, wait! You know what this means? This means there's a girl out there! Whoa! That means there's hope for humanity! Whoa! Whoa, exactly. I bet she's super hot. Totally. Guys, is this serious? Is it a boy or a girl? I didn't check. It's a girl. Whoa. We need to tell someone. Rondo! If we came to him with this, we'd be set for life. All the food and cool stuff we want. Dope, dude. It's actually not a bad idea. The Rondo army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can know I have her. She's a baby now. But she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. Brad, that's insane. You'll keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad. I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not gonna give her up. This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt you. So what's happening here? There's no women in this world? It's kind of like the impression I'm getting, so... I'm having a baby girl. Oh my god, that'd be terrible in this type of world. I apparently dropped the joy, too. And we're digging underground. Are we digging a room for her to keep her hidden? <laughs> I guess we probably are. At least, at least they're helping out. The bros are, which I imagine are probably the guys that we helped them when we were kids. So wow, that's crazy. I, I I I don't know much about this game. I don't know anything about the story. Just that it's apparently really depressing and just very awesome at the same time. But so we're basically facing extinction. Oh. Hmm. So taking the medication does, I guess, keep the the trauma of her father away. Time has passed, I guess, now, and she's older. Wants to go out and explore, and we can't have any of that. We've dropped all the joy, too. Can't imagine. That seems like a really, really tough situation. 
got her a mask? Oh, we, we made her a mask so we could take her out. <laughs> She's dolling us up. Yeah, you guys don't get to escape it either. You guys get dolled up as well. We're all pretty here. I mean, what do you do now? You, you got rid of all the joy. Hmm. Do we take it or not? I guess we didn't, but we got heavily intoxicated. Doggo? Hey! You there! This wild beast won't leave me alone. I'd slay on myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree. So, give me a hand, will ya? But he's so adorable looking. Oh, I'm gonna fight the doggo. Yo, this beat is a banger! When there's music in this game, it's so far so amazing. Okay. We got Armstrong style, skills, and guard. Any skills? No. Armstrong style. We're apparently fighting cheese legs. Execute, sure. I mean, I guess. Sounds very vicious for a doggo. Brad Armstrong family style karate. I don't know if there's any sort of combination to keep an eye out for, but I'm just <laughs> I'm mashing, to be honest with you. You're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. You seem like the... you can handle a lot of pain. <laughs> like, maybe you can handle some kind of pain-related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? Yes, pain mode, no normal mode. Okay, I, I don't know about this is, so let me... give me a sec, I'm gonna check this out and just see what's more appropriate. Okay, so I did a little bit of research here, and without diving into spoilers, thankfully, I kind of read primarily that pain mode is mostly recommended for a second playthrough. The really big main difference is I think pain mode gets an extra area, apparently, but they both have um, individual, I guess, scenes which differ from each other, and pain mode also severely limits how many times you could save. And for me, that's really terrible because I, you know, I'm recording this, trying to do commentary, so there's gonna be mess ups. I gotta go back and do stuff sometimes over. So yeah, I'm gonna go normal mode because I need my saves, dog. Huh, that sucks. Anyway, I would have helped you, but I, like I said, I heard my H string. Your hamstring? I'm Terry Hintz. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the lands, leaving my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. Hey, wait! You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool. It's settled. Well, Terry Hintz has uh, apparently indeed joined us. Got music now? Alright. If this balloon wasn't here, you would walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. Well, th thank you, balloon. I'm, I'm glad that a piece of string attached to some rubber with some sort of form of air in there kept me from falling in, landing onto my demise. Hint. Bottles. Bottles can be very useful. You can sell them, fill them, or make firebombs with them. Or even just throw them in a battle. So pick them up. Terry hints. Okay. Ah, okay, and this is how we save. Caution, be wary of Terry's good looks. They're dangerously appealing. Always looking out, Terry Bear. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Resting. If you can find a campfire, you can rest. Your party will be fully revived, but be careful. You're vulnerable when you sleep. 
anything can happen. But what choice do you have? Sweet Terry Wine. Oh good, there's some blood. Secrets out, Brad. She she's gone. Oh no. Sorry, guy. There's something I gotta go do. Alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. Come on, bro. This looks serious. Someone close to me is missing. I, I need to find that person. That's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I don't. I'll tag along, I guess. Considering I'm very... I'm a very strong warrior. Thank you for joining me again, Darians. He's dead. Yep. She's the way everybody is. I mean... Wait, 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 wait. You're not... You're not one of the bros. Yeah, I know they're... You found a rusty knife. Oh, well, I think we got a weapon. A picture of a happy family. A picture of Buddy's uncles. Rick, Sticky, and Cheeks. A picture of the sky that Buddy drew. And Buddy's her daughter. So, uh, it's not Lisa? Do we eventually find out she's Lisa or what? Okay, let's see about sweaty wristbands. Who could take this rusty knife? Nobody here, apparently. Okay. It is a weapon. Don't use this on your dinner. You'll get sick. Can cause poison. Alright. Keep that in mind. And... Little would you know it. I think it's a perfect time for us to wrap up here. This is Lisa. So far, I'm very, very intrigued. Thanks a lot for recommendation. I mean, I kind of knew about this game, but this kind of gave me the extra kick in the ass to at least check it out for my own accord. So, if you guys enjoyed, want to see more of this, want me to do an entire playthrough, let me know in the comments by leaving a thumbs up. If there's enough interest, we'll definitely come back and check it out. Otherwise, at least thanks for the suggestion. So, at least if it doesn't go too well, I could probably check it out my own time now. I will catch you next time.